In this video, you'll learn how to generate mathematical model for Blue Robotics T200 thrusters using its input and output data. Here, our input is PWM signal and output is force. Let's consider a case where you have a new actuator and you want to design a control system. You'll need a model of the system, but how will you decide which modeling approach is best for your application? There are three approaches to modeling. One is first principles modeling or physics based modeling, where you can derive all the dynamics of the system using first principles. Then there's gray box modeling. Here you can derive the model structure from physical principles, but you don't know some parameters and use the data to estimate the values of unknown parameters. One example is the suspension system, where you know the equations, but you need to estimate the parameters like spring stiffness and damping coefficient. And finally, we have black box modeling, where you use system identification methods to create models from input and output data, which is consistent with the range of input and output values. System identification is the method of finding mathematical model of a dynamic system using measurements of input and output signals of the system. Once you have data, you select a model structure and apply an estimation method to estimate the model and its parameters. Models of dynamic systems are typically described by differential equations, transfer functions, state space equation, and pole zero gain models. Your input signal must be designed in such a way that it excites system dynamics in the frequency range of interest. In this case, we use square wave signal. Here we have two data sets. One is in sine sweep and second one is in square sweep. The reason we need two data set is because we need one data set for creating the model and another one for validating and testing the model. Here we have the input output data with sampling time of 0.002. Rename and import our sine sweep data. Similarly, let's import our square sweep data. Go to apps panel and select system identification app. You import your process data here. Here, you load your generated models. Using pre-process menu, you can use different pre-processing techniques on your data, like removing means, filtering it, and rest of the operations according to the condition of your data. The estimate menu here has all the different types of models. Import your data. Here, our data is in time domain. Specify the input name and output name. Let's label our sine sweep data the sampling time is 0.002. Similarly, we label our square sweep data. One of the most necessary pre-processing application is removing mean from your data and normalizing it. Here, if we use remove mean from pre-processing, it will normalize our data. We'll use square sweep data for creating model and sign data for validation. Let's create a state space model. Here you can tell it to try different orders. You can see it generates different model orders and recommends us to go with it. Let's move with order 8. Click estimate. We can see the accuracy here is around 77%, which is not that good. We can still improve it. We can see here that the data is very noisy and that is why our fit is not good enough. Let's filter the data. Select the data. Select the filter. Thrusters usually have a low frequency operating range. Anything along high frequency range is mostly noise. You can see the noise lies in the high frequency range. You can either select the range directly or manually specify it. Then click filter and insert it into system identification app. Similarly, we'll do this for another data set. Now we have both our data set filter. Let's estimate our model. We can see how the accuracy has improved much more. You can even create a transfer function model. Select the transfer function, specify poles and zeros. Here, I'll give two poles and one zeros for now. We can change it according to our model accuracy. Click estimate. Now, let's check the accuracy. Here we can see the accuracy is around 90%, which is good. To use this model, just drag and put it to your workspace. Similarly, drag your state space model to your workspace. You can use the generated transfer function block in Simulink. Here we have a step input. Let's click run. We can see here that the controller which we're using on our transfer function model is tracking the input. You can even add noise to the system model that we have identified. Double click on the block, select add noise.
to know more about system identification check out the documentation link in the description below